Welcome back everyone to Pontos Fathom Hobbies. This is Season 8, Cthulhu Death May Die, and we are playing Nameless Woods, featuring the Black Goat of the Woods. And had a great uh, turn 6, Elder Thing, Black Goat of the Woods, summoned onto the board with his Dark Young. But uh, Sam Wood able to flee with them in hot pursuit, catch fire to the last of the campsites, stopping the ritual. But he's already on the board, so we still have to get him. Uh, if we can kill him now, I think we've completed. So uh, let's jump into turn seven. Quick shout out to Pontos Fathom Press. Go over to our other channel to check out our podcast, uh, book reviews. Got a couple of new series co coming up. You can go check those out. And if you go in our links, check out our bookstore. That's how we um, fund the operation. You can also check out our Patreon. Thank you guys for uh, looking into us. Hopefully get to 1,000 subscribers. And when we hit that milestone, we're uh, going to look at some live gameplay. So we'd love to have you guys along board. Leave your comments below and uh, use those like and share and ring the bell buttons to help the uh, algorithm get us out to other gamers. You can also share it to your friends, that would be awesome. And the other thing is, if you guys watch the video to the end, I hear that that's also helpful to the, uh, to the algorithm. So uh, try to keep these uh, limited to one turn so you can get through them as opposed to having all the turns in one video. That's my uh, that's the way I do it. So hopefully that works for you. Looking forward to turn seven, let's jump into it. So we'll start out with Ariel. Uh, She's she's safe in this room to just basically open fire onto these guys. So let's see if she can just do that. She will. Um, I think she's going to focus on the black goat here. So let's have her do just that. And again, the black goat. It says uh, he moves the any dark young closer to him, but the dark young's already with him. So let's see how she does in this first roll. So she gets one, two, three, four. That's pretty good. Uh, no insanities here. So she, uh, let's have her just take the stress, and she can roll these again. She gets six now. So let's put six on him here. It's got a total of 12. Let's have her go again. <clears throat> okay, so this time she gets only two, uh, but we'll take it. And she does get uh, an insanity, which will add another die roll to her. She does have her obs obsessive disorder. She needs to remove a card. So she will discard this one because she has this equal cards. Move her stress to match her health, uh, which is fine. And I think I'll go ahead and give her the reroll as well. So she'll take a stress to reroll. And that gives her one more damage. And then lastly, we'll grab that extra die uh, from her insanity increase. Oh, and with her insanity increase, she actually can... Let's have her... Uh, let's have her be able to target two spaces away. It's even better for her insanity. And let's roll one more time. And we get one, two, three, four, five more damage. So that's three, four, five. So for a total of nine, 10, 11, 12, 13. Well, Yogg-Sothoth is off. And I think that she can just get this Dark Young with that last attack, actually. Because Yogg-Sothoth was already hit. So she gets both Yogg-Sothoth and the Dark Young off the board. So that's pretty good. We'll return these guys to the um, other universe here. And we'll have Sam come through. So Sam will go ahead and move. One, two, three, four. And he'll move again. One, Two, and he'll attack the last of this uh, this night gaunt, so he can roll five. So 
So he does an additional damage. He takes two insanity. So Sam is also going to get to increase up um, rest in an unsafe space. But the Night Gaunt is killed. And I believe that is going to uh, wrap up the game. So we've defeated the... Uh, We've defeated the, oh, I forgot to do one thing. I didn't do the Mythos card for, sorry, didn't do the Mythos card for Ariel. So it says, book from Ebion. Uh, if there are three or less dark young on the board, summon a dark young into her space. Okay, this changes things. And then she has to have the dark young fight her. So let's have that happen. So the dark young gets to attack with two dice and he does one damage to her so that's a, a little bit different a dynamic and then um, then she um, then Sam has done his attack here let's have him also mm, he's moved I guess he wouldn't have attacked that Night Gaunt. So let's go back and redo Sam's turn. Instead, he's going to attack this Dark Young. And we'll apply... We'll just re-roll his attack. So I think that'll be easier. So he does four damage, which gets the Dark Young off the board. But he also gets uh, two Insanity. Not enough to get him to the next level. But that's fine. Dark Young is cleared. We get to play a Mythos card. Uh, deal one wound to each Dark Young on the board and summon a Dark Young on this space. Which is fine. And then uh, now we get to do his Discovery card. And he gets the Park Map. Park Ranger, have you ever heard the Whispers in the Woods? Take one stress to claim the Park Map. So he has a stress to spare, so he'll take the park map, and that'll be good. And that's going to wrap it up now for turn seven. So turn seven is wrapped up, and I believe since we've cleared the dark, uh, the black goat of the woods off the board, uh, that's going to wrap it up for the game. So thanks a lot for playing, guys. Uh, quick, uh, maybe a quick post-game breakdown. Definitely liked the mechanic of. Uh, the campsites, I thought that was kind of fun. Felt like it was a little bit easier. Um, I think we just got some lucky rolls. Characters are both very good. And um, uh, looking forward to playing the next the next season. I never go into the next seasons knowing what they are, so I'm really excited to, to, to uh, um, pick these out one by one. So th the next one will be Nameless Woods. Uh, this is Nameless Woods Season 2, Episode 2, but we'll get to Episode 3. I'll also put a poll out in the in the Patreon to see which uh, investigators you, you guys want to play. I'm trying to use the investigators that are most thematic for each of the gameplays, and so hopefully that works out. Okay, guys, thanks for watching. Uh, go check out the links below. Looking forward to our next game of uh, Cthulhu Death May Die. We've got um, another season of Eldritch Horror coming up uh, that you can check out. Obviously, if you're, if you're a Cthulhu Death May Die fan, go back and check out our old gameplays. We've got the whole first uh, six seasons from the original game box and just starting into the expansion set. So um, expansion set has six, as you know. So we'll be playing through all of those. And we also have the painting videos for all of our miniatures. So if you're interested in that, uh, you can check out our mini paint throughs. We paint the investigators live for each of the uh of, of the game so i think the next investigators will be the, the investigators we have left that have not been painted are, are are all here and we can check these out so let's find the most thematic ones for the next season and we'll get into it so thanks for watching guys see you in the next game bye bye